you guys, Aaron here, and today I'm going to be breaking down the New Year's Roadmap event that just started. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Um, in the background, there's going to be some random gameplay of like COD Mobile Zombies or something like that. Something COD Mobile, most likely. I don't know. We'll see. There's something for you guys to watch while I talk about this event. So this event, there's a free-to-play version and a pay-to-win version. So going over the free-to-play version here real quick. You need to do the roadmap 13 days, renews once a day. You get For completing the roadmap, you get a uh, choice box with 30 whatever S-Class item you want. And then obviously the tiara, which is the collection item for the museum. So once you collect all 13 tiaras, you can trade all of them in for a choice box with 390 if or whatever S-Class item you want. So in total, you're getting 780 S-Class items for free. So you're getting the 30, the choice box for 30 S-Class items, that's 13 times because it's once a day for 13 days. And then plus the extra 390 at the end once you do the museum collection. So 780 S-Class items for free. Not a whole lot. A um, little bit disappointing. Now for the premium version of the roadmap, aka the pay to win version, the choice box you get for the roadmap each day is 260. Well, it's it's 130. It's a choice box for 130 S class items, but you get two of those, so you're getting 260 S class items a day for 13 days, and then the museum collection at the end is for 5,000 S class items, which is a pretty big jump from the 390 that the free to play version is getting. So in total, you're getting the 260 a day times 13 plus 5,000, which is 8,380 S-Class items. And then of course you're getting the 780 from the free-to-play version of the roadmap. So in total you're getting 9,160 S-Class items if you're doing the pay-to-win roadmap. That's a pretty big jump from the 780 the free-to-play players are getting. Like, the pay-to-win and free-to-play gap is like pretty huge right now. This is like the perfect example of it. Over 9,000 S-Class items for, for pay-to-win and 780 for free to play. It's a pretty big gap there. So now for the premium version though, you need apples to complete this roadmap, which is apples are the energy. So for the free to play roadmap, it's only world energy you need. But for the premium, you need apples. Plus you need survivors club. So the price is a little steep here. So right now the offer for the apples is $10.99. This is Canadian pricing, by the way. You can convert it yourself. $10.99, you get 25 guaranteed apples. And then you get a bag with a chance of either 100, 60, 50, 40, 30, or 20 apples. So you need 104 apples to complete the roadmap each day. So you need to pull, you either you buy the offer once and then you get lucky and get the 100 apples which is a five percent chance to get the hundred apples so very slim chance you actually get the hundred so it's a pretty good chance you need to buy the offer twice at least for the first day so 10.99 for this offer in total it's hard to tell because obviously it's rng based with the bag so you don't know exactly what you're going to get but we're assuming 10.99 Let's say you buy the offer once a day, we'll say on average. Even though the first day you'll probably have to buy it twice. Then after that it might be a once a day type thing. But we'll say on average you buy the offer 13 times to complete all the roadmaps, which it'll probably end up being more, but actually we'll say you buy it 15 times in total. So 1099 times 15, $164.85. And then for me, Canadian pricing, Survivor's Club is $32.99, which is insane. Like, I could get Netflix, Spotify, PlayStation Plus, and still have a couple of dollars left over for the price of Survivor's Club. Um, but so $164.85 for just the offers, and plus $32.99 for Survivor's Club, $197.84. That's excluding taxes and all that kind of stuff, too. So over $200 Canadian to complete the roadmap. Obviously, if you're insanely lucky with the bags and the offers for the apples, it'll be less, but and it's, it'll probably end up being more, honestly. You probably had to buy the offers a couple more times. Who knows? So we'll say anywhere between 
170 to 250 maybe around that price range Canadian so I don't know it's gonna cost you a decent amount of money though to complete this road map so be prepared to spend at least $150 minimum that that'd be US pricing I'd say but probably 200 Canadian minimum I'd say around that I don't know it's hard to tell because it's our it's the bag is RNG based so really depends on how lucky you get but you need 104 apples every time you do the roadmap so 104 times 13 you're gonna need 1352 apples in total so keep that in mind also um, I'm not gonna bother spending money on this event because honestly I don't really feel like giving Scopely any money right now until I see some proper change in the game that's just how I'm feeling right now but overall this event, not a big fan of it. Um, just the gap, like 9,160 S-Class items for pay to win, and then 780 for free to play, it's like, what the hell? Like, the gap is huge right now, just in general in the game. I mean, the gap is huge here also for this event specifically, but in the game in general for free to play and pay to play, it's like huge. I don't know though. We'll see how the rest of the year goes, but this is not a good start to 2020 at all. Um, give me your thoughts on the event, though, in general. I think the event sucks, because, like, it's just, like, whatever. It's not super rewarding. In my opinion, the Christmas event, Thanksgiving event, and then the, one, the, the anniversary event for the game should be the three most rewarding events for every everyone. Pay to play, pay to win free to play, casual spending, whoever you are. Those three separate events should be the most rewarding events in the game. If you want to do pay to win events for Valentine's Day, Easter, whatever, it doesn't matter, go ahead. For those three specific times of the year, so Christmas, I would include New Year's in that time frame also. Thanksgiving and then the year anniversary event should be the three most rewarding events in the game. Instead, it's all been pay to win so far, and it's like, come on, I know you need to make your money, I understand that, but like, it's getting ridiculous. I don't know though, let me know in the comments, oh yeah, it's one thing I forgot to mention, now, I doubt this would happen, but at the same time it is scopely, so who knows, but the 10.99 offer that's offered right now, which I think is probably 9.99 American or something like that, there is a chance that that offer doesn't stay the same. Like for instance, you can buy the offer five times right now. And maybe once you, once the offer expires or you buy all of them, there's another offer the next day or maybe a week from now on the seventh day or something like that, where the offer changes. Like for instance, instead of the 10.99 offer, it could go from 10.99 to 27.99 and you get like a hundred guaranteed apples only or something like that. Like, they could change their prices on the offer and how many apples are offered in the offer itself. So keep that in mind also, because, like, who knows? There could be scumbags that end up increasing the price on the offers and whatever, so it could end up costing a lot more. Who knows? It is hard to tell. I don't think they'll do it. I think it'll be the same offers throughout the whole event, but you never know. You never know. But... There's one thing I forgot to mention. I thought I should mention that also. But anyways, let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think of this event? Are you guys going for the premium roadmap? Or are you guys sticking to free-to-play? Me, personally, I'm sticking to free-to-play. Let me know your thoughts on the, road, the event in general. Thanks for watching. Peace.